Jake Ludington here, and I just had to share this annoying thing that I just noticed when I installed a couple applications on my new iPad that I got at the end of last week. So I was downloading Hotels.com's app specifically because I was getting ready to travel and I wanted to look up some info about the hotel I was staying at. And I install it, and it instantly takes me from the app over to Mobile Safari and then back again. And I'm, I'm like, why is this happening? And so I don't think this, is, this should happen. I, I've never seen this on, on any other app. And so I started asking some questions about it that I'll explain in a blog post that goes along with this. But basically, it's a tracking solution that gets around the fact that cookies don't work the way that they do on the desktop on iOS. And so it's kind of a hack that uh, some tracking companies are using. But I'm going to show you what it is, and you'll understand why I'm annoyed when you see it. I've got my new iPad here to show you what I mean by this kind of strange experience that I had with Hotels.com. And I'm going to go ahead and launch the App Store. You can see here I have it pulled up to the purchased apps, and I currently do not have Hotels.com installed, so I'm going to go ahead and re-download that. And I'm also going to re-download Kingdoms of Camelot, which is a Kabam Games product, and that particular game I know has some tracking built into it from Has Offers, the company I blog for. And so that's going to give you an idea of the different kind of user experience that you can get while still having tracking software. So we'll go back out here, look at the apps installed, and we can see that Hotels.com is installed there, and then Kingdoms of Camelot is installed over there. So first of all, I'm going to launch Hotels.com, and you'll see the application launches, all of a sudden it pulls up Safari, and then it goes back to the application. And in this case, that went pretty quickly. Uh, the first time I did this, I was on my 4G connection on the ferry on the way home, and the experience that I had there was quite different. It took a long time for Safari to load and uh, trigger this event before it came back. And here's the thing that's really weird about this. So I close out of Hotels.com's app, I go to Safari, and that ad tracking page is still right there in my browser. No idea why it's there. I come back over and I see this weird URL um, that isn't even a hotels.com URL. It's uh, some URL that, that right up here, this little string at the end tells the page to go back over to the hotels.com app because that's a uh, convention that I know from having looked around in the, uh, at the App Store uh, developer tools. But otherwise, I have no idea why this, this weird URL is here in my browser. So I'm going to go back over and launch Kingdoms of Camelot. And you'll see it pulls up a Kabam screen and it starts loading the game. And somewhere in the middle of this loading process, this is going out and doing the same kind of tracking. Uh, well, not the same kind of tracking, a different methodology of tracking, which I'm going to talk about in a blog post that goes along with this, like I said. And it does it very quickly, and you're never taken out of the game experience. And here, um, right here, I'm in, uh, and, and granted, I'm seeing some offers inside the game, but here I am, and I'm in the game the whole time. I'm never taken out to Safari. And if I close this out and go back to Safari, the same URL for hotels, you, and you can tell it's the hotels.com URL because Again, it has that uh, com.hotels.ipadhotels up there that tells us that's the uh, ipadhotels.com application URL to send Safari back over to hotels.com. So, not the best experience. And there's obviously a better way to do it because Kabam has tracking software built in and it's not sending me to Safari.